Now, you know, you would think that if the Trump administration were truly running concentration camps along the southwest U.S. border, the outrage over that would have lasted longer than about four seconds. But just because the left seems to have abandoned that particular soapbox and moved on to the next does not mean that we don't still have an immigration crisis. And you would not believe how big it's gotten. The number of illegal aliens apprehended at the southwest U.S. border has skyrocketed over the past year, largely thanks to congressional Democrats' refusal to do a darn thing to secure our border and stop this flow. Now, as a result, a stunning 977,509 illegal aliens were caught at the border this year. To put that into perspective, about 521,000 were caught last year and 415,000 the year before that. And we thought those numbers were bad. This past year, San Diego hit a new record for aliens from countries other than Mexico arrested trying to cross their section of the border. Agents in that one sector alone apprehended over 58,000 people in between ports of entry since the start of last October. More than half were not from Mexico. The vast majority were families or unaccompanied children. And while Trump ran on a hardline immigration position, not very much has changed since his election when it comes to illegal alien minors being funneled into the interior of the United States. In fiscal year 2017, less than 43,000 kids were sent to sponsors in the U.S. after coming here illegally across the southern border. In FY 2018, it was just under 35,000. This year, 72,593 unaccompanied alien children were sent to live with sponsors in the United States after coming here illegally, most of them teens between 14 and 17. Now, this includes people like now 20-year-old Carlos Ereta Vega, who came to the U.S. in 2016 from El Salvador when he was about 16 years old and was admitted as an unaccompanied child. He was arrested twice for DUI in 2018 but was released. Now, he's been charged with murdering 16-year-old Juan Carlos Con Guzman, hacking up his body with a machete and dumping it in a river. At least one of four suspects arrested in the April shooting death of an 18-year-old in King County, Washington, had come to the U.S. from Guatemala as an unaccompanied minor. In 2015, Carlos Daniel Carrillo Lopez also came to the U.S. as an unaccompanied alien child and was sent to a sponsor in Texas. Earlier this year, he was arrested four times between March and June in Washington State, not Texas, where he'd been sent, and was just charged with pistol whipping and then killing an 18-year-old for taking pictures of his girlfriend flashing gang signs. And here I thought that the whole point behind letting these kids come into the U.S. illegally was so they could flee gang violence in their home countries. Not sure how it helps if we just import that violence into our own streets, but hey, liberal logic. We still have a massive immigration problem. We still have unmanageable tidal waves of illegal aliens overrunning our border because for the most part it's still wide open. We have brand new levels of families dragging their toddlers across miles of desert and swampland because we still say that if they can get here, they can stay. We still have overcrowded border facilities that were not designed to hold children and babies that are busting at the seams. And border agents who were trained as law enforcement officers spending their days changing diapers and checking four-year-olds for chicken pox. We still have teenagers sporting MS-13 tattoos being let in as unaccompanied kids because those are our rules. And we still have more dismembered bodies in our woods and our riverbanks and beside our roads because we have shipped Central America's problems into our own backyard. And if Democrats gave two rips about these issues beyond using them to call people racists and then moving on to their next punching bag, maybe, just maybe, we would have a few less dead teenagers heading into the new year. But then that would require using a little less partisan bullcrap and a little more common sense. And that's your Reality Check America. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube page, like us on Facebook and Twitter, and stay sane out there.